Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do another meal plan with me video. Um, I thought I would talk about um, kind of what I eat now that I have to eat gluten free. Um, I'll link the video somewhere on here um, talking about how I was diagnosed with celiac disease and so now I have to do all gluten free uh, everything, all meals. So I thought I would do another meal plan with me gluten free edition. Um, and y'all can kind of see what I eat now and maybe give you some ideas if you are also gluten free or know someone who is or someone in your family is and kind of give you some ideas. So here we go. Um, I use two different notepads. I use this one. It's um, the My Week. It has all the days of the week. I got this at Michael's in the dollar section. And then I also got this notepad from Michael's. Um, and this is my this is going to be my grocery list. And then this is just going to kind of help me see what we're eating this week and what we need from the store. So I put this one to the side and I start with this one. So um, first of all, the first thing I do is always write down some stuff that we have going on during the week. So like Wednesday, we have Bible study. So I write that down. So I know I'm not going to have to make anything for that because we do dinner um, or someone hosts dinner for that. So we don't have to worry about making dinner for that night. Um, and then Saturday we will be going out with some of our friends because they're moving. So I just go ahead and put those two things down. So now I have to meal plan for five different meals. Um, this is only for dinners. Um, I eat about, I eat the same thing every single morning for breakfast. I eat Dannon vanilla yogurt with, um, kind blueberry and vanilla granola on top of it. Both of them are gluten free. So that's what I eat every morning. And then for lunch, I usually eat leftovers from the week or I make nachos or, um, we, if we have leftover rotisserie chicken, I make like chicken tacos or something. Um, but normally I just eat leftovers. So that's why I don't meal plan for them because I just kind of eat what we have leftover or what we have in the pantry. Um, so, okay, so for Monday, um, today is Sunday. Uh, we go grocery shopping on Sunday, so I always do this before we go grocery shopping. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do Monday, uh, or I guess I'll go ahead and do Sunday because that's tonight. So, tonight, um, I was thinking about just doing um, some hamburgers. Um, we have leftover, or we have, still have some uh, sweet potato french fries um, that I want to use up. So we're, we can do hamburgers. And then Monday, um, let me see here. My husband works till 6. So we could probably do um, his favorite, which is the taco chicken salad. Um, I have posted our recipe and a cook with me video on this recipe. So if you want to watch that. I will have that linked somewhere on this page or below. Um, and then let's see here, Tuesday night, my husband works late that night. So, um, I'll, I'll probably want to do something really easy, like breakfast for dinner. And then we have Bible study and then Thursday and Friday, my husband works normal hours. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do balsamic chicken with asparagus and sweet potatoes. Um, Thursday night, because we always have leftovers for, from that, and he can take it for lunch on Friday. And then Friday, um, I do chicken. I can do chicken with lime and cilantro rice. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> We stick to this pretty closely just about every single week. Um, I might change a recipe here or there. Um, I'm still trying to experiment with things and try to figure out what's gluten-free, what's not gluten-free. If you don't know anything about gluten or gluten-free items, um, gluten's in just about everything. So it's very hard to find things to cook um, that are still healthy. So um, these are kind of meals that I've come up with that are really good and they're still healthy and they're gluten-free and they're easy to make. That's like the key word is easy because I hate cooking. So um, this is what I've got. So now that I've got the meals planned out for the week, now I write down what I need to cook that meal. So like for hamburgers, um, I need burgers. Um, my husband has 
likes to have a hamburger bun. I do not, I cannot have hamburger buns and I'm not going to buy gluten-free hamburger buns because that's ridiculous and expensive and I don't like bread anyways. So we like to have pickles, mayo, and he likes jal jalapenos on his, and ketchup. And then we have the sweet potatoes, sweet potato fries. And that's all we have for that. And so let's see here for chicken with lime cilantro rice. So I need chicken. I already have the seasonings for it. I do. I just, I don't know. I found some random recipe on Pinterest. And so I just kind of put like chili powder and um, cumin and I don't even know. I'm not even going to say the ingredients because I don't have a clue. <laughs> I just look it up on Pinterest. Um, but seasoned chicken and then I do it with... Um, lime juice, cilantro, um, and then brown rice. I guess I should have put brown before the rice. Um, and it's just a real easy, easy meal. I love cilantro lime rice. It is so good. <laughs> I'm so glad I can still eat rice. <laughs> okay. And then for balsamic chicken, I have to get balsamic vinegar or I use balsamic vinegar, soy sauce. It's gluten-free soy sauce. Um, garlic, what else is in here? Olive oil. I can do this recipe for y'all or I can cook it for y'all. This is my favorite meal that I make. It's so good and it's really easy, surprisingly. Um, asparagus. I've talked about this meal before, I'm pretty sure. And two sweet potatoes. And, oh, I guess I should put chicken on there. Okay, so there's that meal. Bible study, nothing. Breakfast or dinner, we do eggs, hash browns. Um, sometimes we'll do like an omelet or something, but um, I'm just going to say we're going to do scrambled eggs and hash browns and then toast for my husband. And then taco chicken salad. We need chicken, corn, tortilla chips, um, lettuce, Greek yogurt. Um... What am I doing? Salsa. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm trying to think in layers how I do this. Liz, what are you gonna corn chicken? I guess we've sometimes put cheese. Oh, I need um marinade. Okay, that should be all for that. Okay, so now that I have all those written down or everything written down for that, then I finally move on to my actual grocery list. And so I list my grocery list in order of um, our route in the grocery store. So we always come in by the produce area. So we do produce, meat, dairy, um, and then we go into the aisles, like the actual aisles in the middle of the store. So like cereal and rice and all that kind of stuff. So um, my husband loves taking apples and bananas to work. Oh, I forgot avocado. There we go. <laughs> um, I drink in the mornings along with my granola and yogurt. I drink like this little fruit smoothie drink thing. Um, I can't remember who makes it. It's gluten free. So it kind of just add a little something to my meal. So I get that in the produce area. Um, we need lettuce, avocado. Uh, and then I always put the number that I need when it's items like this. So I need just one avocado. Um, let's see what else is in there. Avocado, cheese, toast. Da, 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 da. Oh, I need garlic and a spare, I guess. Sweet potatoes. Um, two of those. <laughs> oh, I need to get lime juice. I'm all out. I need to get some cilantro. I The other day I made this and I went to the store and got cilantro, so I thought. And then I got home and I opened it and I was like, this does not look like cilantro. And that's because it was not. It was actually um, parsley. <laughs> I was trying to think of what it's called. It was parsley and not cilantro. And I was really upset about that because then I couldn't make my rice because of cilantro. It wasn't cilantro. And I don't like parsley, so. Okay. 
So I'm gonna make sure one more time I'm not missing anything. Cause last time I did a video, I left out asparagus, I think, and everyone got onto me for it. <laughs> okay, so I have all our produce listed. So now we go to the meat. So I'm gonna need to get hamburgers. And then one, two, three, chicken. I get the natural chicken tenders. They're not frozen. They're just already cut up into tenders. Um, and I, ended, I think they're between $3.90 and $4.50 every time I buy them. Um, so this is definitely where most of our money is going when we're buying groceries. Um, but that's okay because it keeps us from eating out so much. Um, and I really like the size of the tenders that they cut for us. It's H-E-B brand. So if you don't live in Texas, I can't help you with that one. <laughs> Okay, and so we keep going on, and so we'll get some eggs. We need almond milk. And then, um, let's see here. Oh, cheese. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think in my head while I'm doing this. Uh, okay, so then we go to the yogurt section. So I need some vanilla yogurt. And we are out of Greek yogurt. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. We should be good. Okay, so now we go into the actual aisle. So I do know I need to get some rice. Um, actually, you know what I forgot to do? Is I go through and I check off what I have and not and don't have. So, um... Got Greek yogurt on there. We already have salsa, got cheese. Oh, I need to get the marinade. Um, avocado, got the lettuce on there. We don't have the chips yet, corn chicken. Um, we got the eggs. We already have the hash browns here. We already have bread. Already got the toast, or the cheese. Blah, blah, blah. Balsamic vinegar and soy sauce, garlic. I already have olive oil, got the asparagus on there, got the two sweet potatoes, and got the chicken. Yay! Chicken, lime juice, cilantro, and rice. Um, we have burgers, we already had the buns, we need to get pickles, we have mayo, we already have jalapenos, we already have ketchup, and we already have sweet potato fries. Okay, awesome. So back over here. So I added the marinade, and now I need to add pickles, because that's in that section here. Also, um... And then I don't need granola because I've already picked up granola. Um, my husband likes to eat cereal, so got to get him some cereal. Um, tortilla, chips for him. And then I like chips for me because um, I can't eat a lot of the chips that he eats. So um, I get chips for myself and we also get popcorn. And then we kind of move out of that area and go to the frozen food where he likes to get waffles. Um, we need to get the frozen corn for the taco chicken salad. And um, he also gets some uh, frozen meals for lunch. I'll get two of those. So let me just check over here again real quick. Corn, tortilla chips. Mmm. Okay, looks like we're pretty good. That's about that's all we need. We don't need any household items this time around. Um, I try to keep us stocked, so I hardly have to buy it very often. Um, but anyways, that is our gluten-free meal planning. Um, we do gluten-free. We do gluten-free for dinner um, for both of us, and then my husband obviously uh, doesn't stick to a gluten-free diet because he doesn't need to. Um, but we definitely make sure cross-contamination does not happen. But uh, this is our list, is what we do. If you have any ideas for me of different things to try, please let me know. I am so open to new ideas. Um, I've just kind of fallen into a rut of things that I know that I can have, so I'm kind of scared to try new things, but I need to. So tell me different brands to try out, different recipes to try out. Um, and if you just have any ideas or if this will help you or if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you have not described yet, please let, uh, subscribe and click that button below and give this video a thumbs up if you like meal plan with me um, videos. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. <music>